Now, the mystery surrounding an abandoned Ford Fairlane at Northcote Plaza has been causing a stir among shoppers for years. The dusty old cars become a local legend, parked in the same spot for at least a decade. But now, Reed Butler can finally reveal why. Of all the vehicles in this underground car park, one stands out. I've always wondered who owns that car because it's actually been sitting there for a long time. This 1986 Ford Fairlane has been defying Northcote Plaza's two-hour time limit for more than a decade. We started the Northcote Plaza Appreciation Society 15 years ago or something and it was there. The fair lane always parked in this exact spot, a cobwebbed mystery, sparking theories on the popular Northcote Plaza Appreciation Society Facebook page. Old school mafia, check the boot for a body. Think it's too expensive to move, a tow truck won't fit in there. It's a landmark and it's never hit the actual Northcote Plaza, which is a bonus because it's pretty regular that a car comes through the front windows and we know that, that we're safe from that one. Yeah. The abandoned car is just one of the many peculiarities locals have come to love about the decidedly odd and retro Northcote Plaza. Home to a thriving DVD and CD store, a small army of pigeons and not one, but two Coles supermarkets. I feel like the big one is the shit one and the small one is the good one, but people have big feelings about that. But the fair lane may just be the strangest feature of all. Make no mistake, the old Ford is certainly treated with respect by shoppers. The vehicle's remarkably intact for something that's been here this long. I'm told that someone even comes along and gives her a clean occasionally. In good nick, but admittedly a far cry from the car's heyday. Ford Fairlane, first choice of Australian prestige car buyers. But who owns this one? Turns out Northcote Plaza management lets the Ford remain as a tribute to a shopper who died more than 15 years ago. His son asked to leave the car there in honour of his late dad. As a memento. And so the Ford will stay a permanent fixture at the shopping centre. Time forgot. Reid Butler, Nine News. What a story. Well, cricket fans...